Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to be solving a fun little problem here. So we have n cubed plus 100 divided by n plus 10 is an integer. And I want to know what the biggest value of n is uh, where that's true. So if you'd like to work it out, go ahead and pause the video. Otherwise, we're going to jump straight in. And uh, <laughs> just to clarify, n is going to be a natural number. So we're looking for a, an integer as well for n. All right. So um, we're going to go ahead and jump into our solution here. So what we notice here is in order for this to be an integer, the top has to be divisible by the bottom. Um, and just looking at this initially, n plus 10 does not go into n cubed plus 100 in a absolute sense. So it's not, I can't just divide n plus 10 into n cubed plus 100. Um, so it's kind of hard and tricky to see where we might want to get started here. But what we can do is we can figure out what we can plug n plus 10 directly to, into and see if we can deal with a remainder. So when can that go into n cubed? So let's think about this for a second. So my root on the bottom is going to be n equals negative 10. So what is that the root of on the top? So if I plug in n cubed, that's negative 10 cubed is equal to 1,000. So if I have n cubed plus 1,000 on top, that would be divisible by n plus 10. So that would be able to solve, uh, simplify my problem just a little bit. So let's think about that now. So let's rewrite our equation above as n cubed plus 1,000 minus 900. And what we notice then is that this on the right is now still equal to 100. But what that does for us is it gives us this guy, which is divisible by our denominator, which is n plus 10. Okay, so let's kind of look at this, think about it a little bit more. So n cubed plus 1,000, I said that that's divisible by n plus 10. Let's go ahead and, and prove it real quick. So if I have n cubed plus 1,000, I guess I'll move that down just a little bit. Um, and I divide that by n plus 10. I can put that in n squared times. That's going to give me n cubed plus 10n squared. Subtract that, we get 0 minus 10n squared plus 1,000. n goes in there, minus 10n times. So then we're going to get minus 10n squared minus 100n. Subtract that again, we get 0 plus 100n plus 1,000. And now I'm going to have plus 100, and we see that divides in perfectly. So this then can then be rewritten as n squared plus, or sorry, n squared minus 10n plus 100. That's my orange block divided by n plus 10 minus 900 divided by n plus 10. So this becomes a little bit easier problem. So what do we notice? We notice that this guy is always an integer. Why is it always an integer? Because I have an integer squared minus 10 times an integer plus 100. It's going to be an integer. All those guys are integers. I'm adding them up, etc. So my problem has now become, when is this guy an integer? Okay, so this is a, a nice little easy problem. So what it's really asking is what is the greatest common denominator or what is the greatest divisor of 900? So the greatest divisor, because remember I'm looking for the biggest n, the greatest divisor of 900 is just 900. So what can I make n? I'll just make n equal to 890, and then I have 900 divided by 890 plus 10 is equal to 1, which is an integer. So the largest value I can make for n is 890, and that is going to be my solution. All right, so this was a, an interesting little number theory-ish problem. So we got to work through some, some math to kind of get there. But you notice how we simplified our problem to something that was actually very easy to solve from something that looked very challenging. 
All right, so if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have your own video idea, please submit it to thinkthriceproblemsolving at gmail.com. And as you're working through problems, think once, think twice, and if you really get stuck, think thrice.